Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio and today I'm sharing with you a art journal page that was inspired by the Art Joy of Sharing art community on Facebook, the mood board. So I designed the mood board this month. It's all about summer and the lazy days of summer and those type of colors, ice cream, citrus fruit, sitting out uh, under umbrellas, the beach, that type of stuff. And as I was looking at the board, I was looking for things to be inspired by. And I was in first, first inspired by the idea of the ice cream cone being a triangular shape that has squares inside. And because of that, I decided to do, do an intaglio plate. Intaglio is where, it's a type of printmaking, and that's an Italian word, where um, the design is incised into the plate. It's the opposite of relief. Relief stands up, intaglio goes in, and then the ink or paint or whatever you're going to use is is contained within the grooves of the plate. And it's it's something really fun to do with styrofoam. You can do this with kids. Um, in fact, I think it probably the idea of this came from maybe um, art education, you know, something like that, teaching kids about different art techniques. But um, normally you wouldn't do it with styrofoam. Now, I bought these styrofoam plates because there's lots of things you can do with these. I bought them off of Amazon and you can do this. You can make them into stamps or printing material type things. They're easy to cut. They're thin. They're also easy to scribe into. I'm using a, a ball stylus tool to do it and I'm pressing fairly hard to make my impressions into the plate. Um, because I'm doing this type of a design, I'm using a ruler, but you can just draw. You can even just draw with a ballpoint pen onto it and you'll end up with a plate. If you don't have these purchased um, pristine <laughs> styrofoam, I used to do this and have done this quite a bit using the trays, the styrofoam trays that meat comes in or sometimes other products come in. Um, I've heard though that that's not so much a thing that happens anywhere else besides the US. Uh, we always have things on styrofoam, but maybe other places is not so easy. You can just order these big stack of plates from Amazon and I'll put the links below, obviously. So I also made some circular impressions using the lid of one of my uh, water brushes by just pressing really hard and making kind of a polka dots. So as you can see, I've got ice cream cone ice cream cone shapes, triangles with squares, which was what came to me when I was looking at the mood board. With mood boards, you could be inspired by anything. You could be inspired by the shapes, the colors, the concept. You can take it really specifically, like you could make something, you know, you could make a pineapple or you could make an umbrella or you could make an ice cream cone, things that you see, or you can do it a lot looser than that. So my interpretation is fairly literal, I think, at the end, but um, I just, I thought this would be fun. So it's fun to do this with a gel plate because you can do your impression onto the pl the gel plate really easy. It's squishy. And so um, it's easier than printing onto a piece of paper. However, you can do intaglio printing right onto paper. You don't have to do it on a plate. But I also like the concept of having multiple colors. So I can, put my impression and you can see I put the light blue paint down into the grooves of the plate, scraped it off with a scraper and then when I push it onto the plate I just get um, where where the paint was left down in the grooves after I scraped it. But with a gel plate I can put something down and then I can let it dry and pick it up with another color. So that's why I like to do it this way. I can get pink and blue because I picked it up with the light pink paint and you can see the design in the blue over the pink and I get a two color um, impression. If I just placed it right down on the, the paper and pressed it down, I would have got blue lines uh, over the gessoed paper. Um, this, is, this is from an art journal that I made using all the stupid cardboard 
um, things that came in the mail the last time there was a presidential election. So far, we haven't got a bunch of them, but for this year, for this time, but last time I got so many. And so I ended up making a book out of it um, to use for one of our month long challenges. We usually have that month long challenge in uh, November and it's art journaling every day and there's a video every day for, for my channel. But we're going to have it in October this year, so be ready. November, we just decided was too, there was too much going on in November, preparing for Thanksgiving, preparing, you know, shopping for Christmas or whatever holidays that you give presents for, you know, winter, just, it's all too much. So we decided to do it in October instead. So I decided that the light colors needed a little bit more um, interest. So I decided to put a second layer on with my intaglio plate that is turquoise, which there's some turquoise water, and then a little bit of yellow to pick it up. So I ended up with like multiple colors in different places on my background. And I think it looks pretty cool. It was a good start for my first layer. So you can see the different ice, ice cream cone shapes and colors that are coming from the mood board. Then I decided I wanted to make, um, I like that picture with the pineapple in the middle and then the citrus fruits um, spread out, slices of citrus fruits. And that just screams summer to me. I don't know why, because I eat citrus all year. <laughs> but um, I don't know, something about citrus. So I got some different circular mark making tools out of my bucket below the desk that I use usually on gel plates. And I made some circles. One of them is an empty um, tape, like there was tape on it and it's the roll that's left. The other one was actually a lid of something that was on my desk because I wanted that size. And then I went, I got some cons compressed sponge. Um, these are like sheets of sponge that are just super flat and you can cut shapes out of them. And then when you put them in water, they puff up and they become like a little spongy stamp. It's, it's, it, be, it turns into basically kitchen sponge once you, you put the water on it. And they make fun stamps for paint, for acrylic paint. And so I cut it, they, cut, I, they measured and cut the first one for the larger pieces. And then I mixed some orange paint and some peach paint together to get a little bit more of a faded orange color, more like a grapefruit than an orange. And then I'm just using it, uh, the little sponge to make the segments of the orange and where I put the mark making tool on is the rind on the outside. So they look like, like citrus slices. And I was pretty happy with that. I thought that was fun. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Um, so of course I'm going to do the same thing for the smaller slices, which are going to end up being lemons. And same idea, cut, cut the little segment piece, kind of a triangle with rounded edges. And you will note that's another triangle shape. Uh, when I was making this mood board, I was looking for triangle shapes. Also inside of the, the umbrella is another triangle triangular shape. Um, that's the stuff I think about when I'm doing a mood board. Shape and color. Uh, that's what runs my life basically, shape and color. <laughs> so that's what I think about. So then I mixed some intense yellow and then the Naples yellow together to get a faded, a more faded yellow color. Uh, I use the Naples yellow in the background as well. So bringing those colors in, in multiple places, but also some blending. I wanted the top layer to be a little bit more intense. And what I was thinking about when I was making this, from the texture, because there's two layers of gesso on this, this card, it has, it has a scratchy texture, kind of like at, um, something that's been aged in the sun. And I was kind of thinking about those old fashioned signs at the beach where people would go to the beach and it, I don't know, just that whole like kind of aged, distressed, weathered, whatever you want to call it, idea. So 
it started to seem to me like it might be a billboard, like a from a beach town. I, I think you guys know what I'm what I'm talking about. You've seen these images before in movies and stuff where there's like this faded sign, welcome to the beach. And there's, you know, a picture of something. I don't know. Anyway, I decided that that's what this kind of would end up like at the end. So that's why I kind of toned down the colors and didn't make them as intense as they might've been. Also the mood board had a kind of faded look to it probably because it's a terrible print. <laughs> Maybe the actual one. No, I just clicked it open and it's got pretty faded colors on it. Um, yeah, definitely. So I also had this sticker. This came in a package this that I just got and it's from this company that sells tie-dye shirts. It's called Sunshine Sisters and they, and I ordered a mask, a face mask that's made out of a tie-dye and has a pocket in it so I can put a filter. And it's like stretchy cotton material, makes it a little bit more comfortable. But this little sticker came, and it has Be, Ki Be Kind printed on the mask. The sticker came with it. So I trimmed out the extra white. There was a quite, a, quite a bit of white around the bubble letters. And I'm going to use that as well because it just seemed so... I don't know, 70s or something when bubble letters were a cool thing. <laughs> so I wanted to use that too. It also has those faded colors on it. It's kind of groovy. So I drew a, um, a tall glass of iced tea with a lemon and mint and a little slice of lemon at the bottom. I love iced tea. I drink iced tea all the time, all year round. And I put uh, lemon in it when I drink it. So I thought this was an appropriate image to go on my top layer. I drew it with the pencil and then I, th I was thinking about the fact that uh, this month is supposed to be fluid media in Art Joy of Sharing and so I decided to get out some fluid media which is some acrylic inks and some India ink to paint with. Uh, the white is India ink and I painted my ice cubes and the rinds of the lemon with it. And then I have these other acrylic inks I also ended up getting out a fluid um, media paint that because I, I needed to mix a color. So I would the top layer has has fluid media, fluid acrylics in different formats on it because I'm supposed to be using fluid media, not but gel printing. You don't really use fluid media as much. You use I like to use the thicker paints. So of course I've been doing a lot of watercolor. Uh, this month so far because to me that's the most fluid of all the media is watercolor and I need lots of practice for that. So then I mixed some of the acrylic ink with some uh, media fluid paint from Deco Art because I needed to darken up a little bit the color. It was too orange, didn't look like the color of iced tea. But once I put some darker um, sienna color with it. It started to look more like a nice deeply brewed dark, dark iced tea like I like to drink. And I'm also using, uh, I think the color is rusted. It's a Pam Carriker acrylic ink. I've got mustard. I've got a couple of this Sennelier abstract acrylic inks as well. A couple different greens. Not sure what colors they are. And then I needed a shadow color, so I mixed in a little bit of Prussian blue with that mixture of sienna and rusted <laughs> to make a darker, more grayed out color for the edges. Just some acrylic painting when using fluid inks, um, inks and fluid media. I used the mustard color first on the lemons. And then I came back in with some of the white. Uh, that's an India ink mixed in with the mustard to, to add the highlights and to put some white around the rinds. I used the two greens to paint the little leaves of the sprig that is stuck in there. And then to uh, tie it in with the background, I painted the straw 
turquoise and I've also painted the table at the bottom that it's sitting on. You know, you know, I have a whole big thing about not letting things float. <laughs> they need to have something they're sitting on. So I made a turquoise table. Also, another thing that I did was to get out some glazing medium, which is a fluid medium that has no pigment in it. I mix it with that that uh, iced tea color and then it get, makes it a lot more translucent and then I went over all the areas over the the ice over the straw over the lemon at the top all the way up to where the the top of the drink would be to kind of tone out those colors and make them like like you're looking at it through the iced tea. I hope you're enjoying this video and if you are please remember to give it a thumbs up Leave me a comment or a question below. Subscribe, um, turn on your notification bells, pin this on Pinterest or share it on Facebook for, with someone that likes iced tea. All those things really help my channel. You can also come and join the Art Joy of Sharing art community on Facebook. There'll be a link below. We have a mood board and a pick a stick challenge and other challenges, um, hashtag challenges going on every month all the way through the month and we have participation from other YouTube artists. You can share your work there. Uh, you can ask questions, participate in any of the stuff that we offer. So I will put a link to that below. Just make sure when you ask to join that you answer the questions that pop up because I won't approve you if you didn't answer the questions. We're trying to keep that group not have a bunch of you know people who advertise and and stuff like that so answer the questions so I put my be kind sticker on it then I didn't want to use a Posca pen or something to do my illustration lines although I did with the writing but um, I wanted to use something that would scratch over the the surface so I used a pencil that's charcoal mixed with um, a little bit of oil medium it's a jumbo jet pencil and then I used a Stabilo Woody in white to do my highlights instead of my white Posca pen so it it looks when you look at the pictures at the end it looks very weathered and scratchy and you can see that there's a lot of texture so I just finished up by writing it's hot offer a cold drink under the be kind because that's something you should do in the summer is if you're if someone is visiting you to offer them a cold drink. So that's it for me. Here come the close-ups. Bye-bye.